Thank you guys. Chat. Let me just see. Let me just. I'll tell you what. We're gonna. Let me see if I can find it real quick. If I could find this fucking Orlando Brown, Dr. Phil. This one section of it. Die. Okay. There are long. Okay, we're gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch a video real quick. I'm just gonna anchor down for a second. All right, we're right back in one sec. Chat, watch this shit. Okay, watch this shit. Term effects. When we do crystal meth and things that can really affect. This is him four years sober, by the way. Okay, according to him, he's four years sober. Right? Neurotransmitters in our brain, and whenever we do certain drugs, it can connect half a thought with another half a thought, so it can get pretty confusing. And I think there's a real good chance that what you've been through has caused you to have some neurological disruption. Well, not, not necessarily. In your brain. Me personally, not to cut you off. Me personally, it's not about you know saying effort or anything. Is it's very clear to me that no, that's the music in there. some of your thinking is confused. And I think that you need some treatment for that that will unravel that. And I think in a very short time, you can get back to being the Orlando that has been so successful in your life. And I know that even with some of that confusing don't do drugs and racing thoughts that somewhere in there he has like he has like the tattoo eyes i think or something like that uh he got him tattooed or some shit to make him look all weird in there you know what i'm saying is right and somewhere in there you know that i'm offering to help you and you should take that help i'm four years sober for a reason i just now got out of rehab i just now got out of a, a er i just got i'm not doing no more time away from my kids other than I need to. I, I appreciate that, but me being free after being locked behind bars for no reason and being set up, oh, like, set ups, I, I can't dedicate. I hate when people frame me for shit, you know what I mean? It's the worst. It's fucking, I, it's fucking sucks, man. When people frame me for stuff, ugh, I hate that. Another 90 days of being monitored all my life. I don't need that crap like other people. It's a slap in the face to people that actually need it. So you want to get back to your, you want to get back to your kids? Yeah, it's like, yeah, I want my kids to be with me in Neverland. I just don't want to. And how old are you? I want my kids to be with me in Neverland. What the fuck does that mean? Kids? Um, I got a two-year-old, four, uh, two-year-old, uh, five, no, yeah, five-year-old, um, I think he's eight and 11. All right. Okay. Now, and what's a two-year-old's name? Two-year-old, um, still in the belly. <laughs> still in the belly, we all know you. Okay. He just and says, Doctor, I don't know how Dr. Phil stays composed like that. Oh, I, fuck. I would he call him out here. on that immediately. Dr. Phil just says, okay. <laughs> What's the five-year-old's name? Uh, that's Mason. And the 11-year-old? Shiloh. Okay. The eleven-year-old is Shyler. Okay, remember that. Yeah. I asked you before yeah. if you had kids. You said yes. I have four. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. What are their ages? You said two, five. And the two-year-old is apparently Shyler. And his last response, I, I mean, apparently I can hear that. Eleven and sixteen. Mm -hmm. I That's said, the what's, a, what's the two-year-old's name? You said Shyler. Okay. The five-year-old is Mason. Right. The eleven-year-old is John. Right. Sixteen-year-old. I don't know. I got to find out. Right. I asked you this time. You said the two-year-old don't know the name because it's still in the belly. That's because I have a baby on the way as well. I just mentioned so that. So <laughs> the two-year-old is still in the belly. So that means that that child has been in there for two years. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> Not necessarily. And then you said the five-year-old is Mason. Then you said there's an eight-year-old. Up here, you didn't say there was an eight-year-old. Down here, you said there's an 11-year-old, and you didn't right. mention a 16-year-old. Did you, did you not hear me say before you started this whole conversation about my kids? What Dude, he, he rolls his eyes back and shit. Like, look, he can't keep his eyes straight. He can't. You see the eye roll? It's weird. It's He's fucked. There's no way that's four years sober, right? Either that or crystal meth fucked him up for years.
You right. mentioned a 16 year old. Did you, did you not hear me say before you started this whole conversation about my kids? What I said was, I have a lot of kids, but I'll say I'll have four right now. That's yeah. exactly what I said. <laughs> so yeah. me, this is, he's acting like Dr. Phil's out of his mind. He's like, that's exactly what I said, Dr. Phil. What the fuck are you on? You know what I'm saying? As a father still trying to jump back into that life and figure out who everybody is, you can't really <laughs> figure out who everybody is. Okay, go on. Me for not knowing exactly. I'm not ridiculing you. All right. Well, yeah, because I, I mean, of course, I'm going to make a mistake if I haven't seen my kids. They were taken from me. <laughs> but how long has it been since you've seen these kids? Okay, that's a very straightforward answer. That I mean, question. That should be a straightforward answer. And listen to his. Bro, honestly, I see my kids everywhere. But at the end of the day... <laughs> Let's listen to that one more time. Bro, honestly... I see my kids everywhere, but at the end of the day, like I said, I barely don't, I barely see them. I don't know them. They don't know me. So didn't answer the question, didn't understand the question, so he just blurted out an answer of some shit. That's what this whole thing is about, being able to identify and, you know, get back with my kids and stuff. I'm not showing you this to make you feel bad about not being around your kids. I made the point that right now, you're an extremely intelligent guy. You got to butter him up a little bit before you hit him with the hard shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to butter. You got to give him a compliment before you smack the hard shit on him. It's a weird tactic, but it works. And I said, but you're confused in your thinking. And is evidence that you're confused in your thinking 30 minutes apart. You are confused about names and dates of yeah, children. Well, I'm trying to put that together. That's what I'm supposed to be here for. I came here today to offer you some help. I think it is in the form of a mental illness that can be dealt with very handily. Mm -hmm. um, I've offered you that, and you have rejected my offer. Which I respect. Um, and I respect that. Respect your no, right I respect to do you. that. You're awesome. And um, <laughs> I, I think you're making a big mistake. Man, what a trip, huh? What a trip. I'm back. Up. What a fucking trip. You guys got to be careful with the drug use. Don't do it if it's possible.